I, I gotta tell you about a movie. Thor Ragnarok. Sometimes, in a person's life, there comes moments of joy. When you sometimes open something and find something amazing inside. Well, for me, that was Thor Ragnarok. I want to thank Chris Stuckman, which I'll put a link down the bottom for. Um, he does some great movie reviews, and I kind of like his style, and um, I, I really like that he likes some of the stuff that I like. And you got to see Thor Ragnarok. It's a comic book type movie. It's got gods, heroes, rock men. It's got the Hulk. How could you not like the Hulk? Um, it's just one of those movies where it's got action. It's fun. It's not serious. And it's funny. I found it to be extremely funny movie in that it it felt like you were watching a comic type you know something that sticks with you for a long time and if you like playing games if you like watching you know comic book stuff when you're growing up if you like magic type stuff wizards and stuff like that it's even got a little bit of that in there it just has so much stuff put into it and it's done in a way that it just works, and Chris Duckman was saying that the director improvised on a lot of <clears throat> a lot of part of the movie, and you can kind of see that they might have been doing something, and then they've thought, hang on a second, if we do this, it's going to seem pretty funny, and, you know, I loved it. It was fun, action, and that opening scene, and that opening scene, and that opening scene, and that opening scene, it just sets off the movie, and it creates a pace and an expectation of not being serious, being fun. The, the characters are, are huge in, 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 not in like physical size, well, they are a little bit, but just in like, you know, character of just... You just lose yourself in the movie, which is kind of rare. The opening scene, Led Zeppelin, the immigrant song. You know, it's so rare to get that that vibe and feel when the action starts and the music cranks. The music just fit perfectly. You know, you'll if you go watch a movie at the cinemas on the big screen, when you watch that opening scene, it's just crazy fun action with one of the best bands ever cranking it you know they got Kate Blanchett in it she's the uh, one of the sisters of daughter of Odin um, you know Kate Blanchett does a very very good job in any role that she plays um, you know she's done a good job Loki's in it Loki's Loki uh, I kind of thought that Loki might become more normal but Loki's Loki and then you got the the rock guy with the Kiwi accent <laughs> you guys may not pick it up because it's kind of like you know so far away from uh, America where most of my viewers are or Europe but there's the the rock guy in the arena with the Kiwi accent you know hey bro how's it going mate maybe not mate but yeah so he's in it as well and it, it <laughs> the insect guy uh, yeah and the marbles You've just got to watch it. It's it's just a really well-made movie. The the look and the the cinematography and the background and the effects, the effects you don't really notice it that much. It just sort of everything just gels. Um, I'm not very good at movie reviews, you know. Look at Chris Duckman; he's much much better. But I'm just recommending that you watch such an awesome movie that. I really love, and yeah, and another movie that was out recently, uh, Brawl and Cell Block 99, that's a surprisingly good movie, I quite enjoyed it, it had like an old style feel, 
Well, you don't need the fancy stuff to make a good movie. And the guy, the main guy, I think his name is Vaughan or something. Um, quite impressed with it. It takes a little while to get into it, but then it starts moving. But, you know, that's how the movie works. You know, you kind of build up into it and stuff like that. But, yeah, Thor Ragnarok, definitely my favourite movie of the year. Um, I tell you what was... <laughs> What was really, really good was Guardian of the Galaxy 2. The opening scene in that, it rivaled Ragnarok. But I'm sorry, Thor Ragnarok had Led Zeppelin, so Led Zeppelin always wins.